You were asked, Mr. Binger asked you about this. You were asked for permission to look through your phone, right? I do recall that, yes. You never actually gave your phone to Detective Antaramian to look through, did you? My phone was picked up off the street the night of the twenty, the night of the twenty fifth. So, no, I didn't give my phone to anybody. Somebody, and I'm assuming a police officer had picked it up. My question to you, that wasn't my question. To you. My question to you was: Detective Antaramian asked you for permission to look through your phone, and you never gave him your phone. True. I never gave him permission to look through my phone. No. Are you aware that he had a search warrant for your phone? No, I was not. So, so if I can, uh, Mr. Grosskreutz, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of the video, okay? Are we good on time? Uh, I haven't been notified that the lunch is here, but uh, I got to pop up in a meeting. You heard what? 15, 20 minutes, I said. From now? Yes. From the, okay. Yeah. It's up to you. Well, do you. Are you fine with time? You would ask for 12 to 1. Right. You are in the middle of an examination, so I will uh, I'll hear from you guys as to what you want to do. Um, if it's not here, I'm fine. I'm ready to continue. I just didn't know if he had a problem. I was hoping for an hour. Okay, I'll give you an hour whenever we stop. Thank you. Okay. Marcian's pointer. Oh, sure. It's up to you. I don't. You, you're welcome to use your glasses if you want. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. You see this gentleman right here, right? I do. Okay. Now you agree he advanced on what ran after came up to Mr. Rittenhouse, right? Can you rewind just slightly? Can you just go? To give, you know, try to go back ten. But... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You agree that he runs up to Mr. Rittenhouse and then applies the brakes, right? I do. Okay, and you'd agree that he's feet, me to you away. And that's a okay. fair assessment, yes. Two, three feet. He's advancing on Mr. Rittenhouse, and you'd agree he puts his hands up, and Mr. Rittenhouse never fires his gun. Correct? That is correct. Okay. Now... You're off screen here at this point, right? You haven't come into the frame yet? No, I have not. Okay. That is, for lack of a better term, this gentleman right here. This is Jump Kick Man, right? Uh, I, I believe so, yes. Okay. So, you can play it. So, you now see that Jump Kick Man kicked Mr. Rittenhouse in the face, and two shots are fired, correct? Uh, with this video, yes. Okay. You hear that, right? Uh, in the moment, yes, I did hear it. Okay. Now, if you can see and we'll play it, I don't, I'm not trying to trick you. This is Mr. Huber, correct? Um, it is hard to see with whatever is blocking. Okay. Um, play it for a second. Okay. That's Mr. Huber, right? That is correct, yes. Okay. Now... This person here that's just coming into the frame, that's you. That is correct, yes. Okay. And you are running, correct? Yes, I was. Okay. Now, you had originally said that you wanted, um, you were going to tell Mr. Huber to stop feeding him, but now you understand that you didn't say anything. You were just running, whatever word you want. You're moving towards Mr. Rittenhouse, right? That is correct, yes. Okay. We just heard a shot, yes? Correct. Okay. 
And to be fair, that you put on the brakes, right? You were running, you then almost stop in your tracks. Fair enough? Correct. Okay. And I don't know if your arms are up at that point, but it looks like you're kind of protecting your head at that point. Is that fair? That is correct. Okay. How far do you think you are away from him at that point to the best of your ability? I would say about there, uh, between... Um, Me and you? You and I, correct. So, three feet? Three to five. Okay. Now, at that point, you have your hands up, right? Yes, I do. Now, you probably don't notice him at the time, but this guy's holding a, what looks like a wooden club of some type. Some sort of wooden object, yes. Okay. So your hands are up, and at that point, he has not fired at you, correct? No, he has not. Okay. It's going to be quick. You would agree at this point, you are dropping your hand, you are loading your front foot, and you are moving toward Mr. Rittenhouse at that point. True? Yes. Okay. So... When you were shot, can you bring up the photo? You'd agree. And now wait, how close do you think you are to him at that point? Three feet. Okay. If it was five feet before, it would. So. So tell me if I've got the lay of the land. At this point, you're holding a loaded, chambered Glock 27 in your right hand. Yes? That is correct, yes. You are advancing on Mr. Rittenhouse, who is seated on his butt, right? That is correct. You're moving forward, and your right hand drops down with your gun. Your hands are no longer up, and now they're, the gun is pointed in the direction of Mr. Rittenhouse. Agree? I'll give you a, a picture. Maybe that'll help. What? What's the next one? Mr. Grosskreutz, I'm going to show you what has been marked as Exhibit 67. Uh, that's a photo of you, yes? Yes. Okay. Um, that's Mr. Rittenhouse? Correct. Okay. Now, you degree your firearm is pointed at Mr. Rittenhouse, correct? Yes. Okay. And once your firearm is pointed at Mr. Rittenhouse, that's when he Yes? No. Sir, look, I don't want to... Does this look like right now your arm is being shot? That looks like my bicep being vaporized, yes. Okay. And it's being vaporized as you're pointing your gun directly at him. Yes? Yes. Okay, so... When you were standing three to five feet from him with your arms up in the air, he never fired, right? Correct. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him, with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. You had now you had mentioned that you believe that he was re-racking. I think you. Used, I don't know much about guns, but you had mentioned that you believed he was re-racking his gun or something, right? That is correct. Yes. Okay. Now this is your 
Tell me this is right. This is your tweet from November 5th. So during this trial, you're tweeting out, yes? Yes. And you tweet out to whoever these people are, make sure you look and listen for the defendant's firearm malfunction, and then you have a, a winky emoji face. Is that right? That is correct, yes. Okay. So this is, the fifth was yesterday? That would have been Friday. Friday. Time's flying, Judge. Um, so Friday at 7.45, you, and what's the winky emoji face for? I believe that was in response to uh, whoever the original, um, whoever the original poster is uh, on there. Uh, I don't know what the original post was, but it was more than likely in response to uh, this person's opinion that they had posted. Now, you, you had said that you were looking for a non-lethal way to end this interaction. That is, that is correct, yes. Yet you pulled your gun out and began, I'm going to use the word chase. You've been, you began chasing or running after a man who was running away from you, correct? That is correct. Now, you had said, and you were asked about the do no harm and, and the tattoo on your arm and things like that, right? Um, you have some regrets from that evening, don't you? No. Well, Jacob Marshall's your roommate, isn't he? No, he's not. He was your roommate, correct? He was, yes. And Jacob Marshall came to visit you in the hospital. Is that right? Yes, he did. Okay. And I know he's taken it down, but not before we saw it. He posted something on either Twitter or Facebook with you, right? Correct. Do you remember that? Remember what? The picture that you guys took in the hospital together? Uh, yes, I do. We need to talk about this. Uh...